Thank you so much for coming back for this special session. Now, as you know, we've been doing several experiments with many of our subjects, but none of them have shown the potential that you have. I want you to know that you are free to leave at any time. We do not want to make you uncomfortable, but we think that your special skills might be invaluable. Now, I have here a deck of cards. And I would like you to think about the cards. I would like you to think about them very hard. And what I'd like you to do is to think about just one. One card. And I'd like you to tell me what suit this card is. I want you to think very hard in your mind about what suit this card is. You're not getting a suit? Now, I want you to keep concentrating. You are not getting a suit. What are you getting? Space? That's very interesting. Keep going. What are you getting? You see space, ship, alien. Yes. Continue. Space, ship, alien, ears. Very good. This is not a regular card. This card has a picture of Leonard Nimoy on the back as Spock. Now, I apologize for the deception, but we had to be sure that what we were getting from you wasn't random chance. You apparently are able to pick up the psychic vibrations coming from my mind and are able to interpret them. Now, what we want to do is to try to hone that skill and help you learn to use it appropriately. Let's try another, shall we? Here is another card. What I want you to first do, I want you to think about the person behind this card. It could be anyone behind this card. So I want you to try to narrow it down. First of all, tell me, is this person alive? or dead. They're alive. Very good. I want you to continue now. Is this person known or not known? They are. That's right. Now, I want you to picture the person's first name. Tell me their first name. You got the phrase happy. This is very good. It's Adam Sandler. Now, I suspect that what you are getting is the movie Happy Gilmore. And this is exactly what I'm talking about, that you need to learn to hone your abilities. In time, you will be able to get much more specific detail. Also, part of it relies on myself to be able to give you good information. Let's try another one. Now, this person, are they living or are they dead? That's right, they are dead. Is it a man or is it a woman? Very good, it is a woman. Tell me, tell me the color of her hair. <laughs> yes and no. You got the color black and white. Indeed, the picture that I'm looking at is black and white. But this woman had a famous hair color. Tell me, what color was her hair? That's right, red. Can you tell me her name? You're seeing an object? A circle, a sphere, a ball. 
Very good. This is Lucille Ball. She is dead. The picture was in black and white. And she was famous when she was younger for having red hair. You see how you're getting closer and closer as you concentrate. It's going to take a lot of work. But what you are doing is unprecedented. We've had some very remarkable people in here, but none of them have been able to pick up mental images the way that you have. So let's continue. I want you to think about this person. I want you to think about this person. Is this person a man or a woman? You got it right away. It's a woman. That's right. Is she known for movies or television? You got both, but tell me which one you feel that I'm thinking about. That's right, television. Now, tell me something about her. Describe her. Blonde hair. Short hair. Very good. Tell me her name. You see that she is kind? Keep going. You're close. She is generous. That's right. This is Ellen DeGeneres. Very good. You're getting so much closer. With a little more work, you will be able to pluck the name immediately when it's associated. I don't want you to feel frustrated if you can't do this right away. Reading a mind is not like looking at a picture or looking at a book. When you are looking at my mind, you are seeing everything connected to that picture. If I had a memory of Ellen DeGeneres, and perhaps I was thinking about her voicing Dory from Finding Nemo, then you might see fish. And this is the kind of clutter that you're going to have to learn to pierce through so that you can do this on command, and that's what will make you one of the most valuable people in the world. Now, let us continue. I want to find a really good one here. All right. Tell me who this is. Very good. You're getting very close now. Now, obviously, you didn't get his name right, but you said... Thor. You said Thor, so you pulled that image. So clearly, when I looked at him, the first thing that came to my mind for that actor was his part as Thor. But you pulled that out. So that is real progress that you're making. Don't stop. I want you to keep working at it. You're going to get there. Now, this person, I want you to tell me something about them. Don't tell me their name. Tell me something about them. That's right. It's a singer. This is a singer. Tell me something about them. I'm thinking about this person. I want you to draw it from my mind. Concentrate. You're thinking about Texas. Very interesting. But keep going. Keep going. I think you're almost there. Houston. That's right. But don't stop. I'm not going to let you go until you tell me their full name. That's right. This is Whitney Houston, a singer. Do you see? Your mind will try to go in all kinds of segues. If you're not concentrating, it will take you away from the true goal. You saw Texas because of Houston. But if you're not concentrating, that may lead you down that this person is from Texas, that this person has a Texas accent. It's very difficult what you are doing, and it's very unprecedented because we have so few people who have ever exhibited skill anywhere near close to yours. But we can help you get there. Now, let me see if I can find a really challenging one. All right. Now, tell me, what is this person's job? 
That's right. This is a president of the United States. Is this person alive or dead? They are dead. Very good. That was your first direct hit. John F. Kennedy. You are amazing. Now that is exactly what, in time, you will use to be able to talk to people and get exactly what you need with just a moment of focusing. Now, let's try something a little different. Is this person alive or dead? Good, they are alive. Are they old or young? Right, they are young. Or is it a man or a woman? A, a woman, you're correct. Now, focus. No games, no half measures. Just tell me the person's name. Ariana Grande. Yes, I'm not even sure if I said her name right. You probably know more about her than I do. But that's very, very good. Now, I'm going to try and trick you. <clears throat> I've got two pictures here. Both of these people I'm looking at. But only one of them I'm going to put into my mind. And even though I'm trying not to, the other one is going to bleed over. This is going to be just like in real life when you're going to have people with their thoughts going every which way. So I'm thinking about one. You're thinking about his job? Interesting. Keep going. Don't stop. That's right. The job was about the other person. Very good. Keep going. He is dead. You're right. They are both dead. But keep going. That's right. Dragon. Nunchucks. Very good. Who is it? That's right. This is Bruce Lee. The other person that I was thinking of was Steve Jobs. But you got Bruce Lee. You see how at first it was starting to bleed over. But if you concentrate, you will be able to do this at will. You will be able to read people's thoughts. And this will be very useful in the future. Let's do just one more. Just one more. But this time, I'm going to do three. I'm going to think of all of them. I'm going to think of all of them. But what I want you to do is I want you to tell me the one on my right. This one. I'm thinking of all of them thinking of all of them. I'm thinking of all of them. That's right. I'm thinking of all of them. Good, hard, granite, stone, rock. That's right. This is Dwayne the Rock Johnson. I even made it difficult that the other two were both leading men. And I was trying to think about them equally, but you were able to pull out the one that I was subconsciously thinking about. You did a very good job. We're going to keep practicing, and we're going to find very interesting uses for your talent.